Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali if you're new and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, so I know the lighting's weird. We are about to head to the kitchen because for today's video, I have a clean, like I'm gonna take everything out of my refrigerator, clean it, and then put all the groceries in that I bought today plus everything else. But yeah, so my refrigerator is just, there, there's a smell in there that I can't get out. So. I've had enough of it, so I'm going to pull everything out, wipe everything down, and wash all the containers that I have in there. So yeah, let's go ahead and head to the kitchen. All right, you guys, so the first thing we started off with was actually just going ahead and taking everything out of the fridge, and I mean everything. I emptied out the entire fridge, all those cups you see, emptied, it, it emptied, it, emptied them out and threw the like plastic cups away i take everything out and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and finish emptying out the fridge i pull out the drawers and everything you guys so after i finish emptying out like the shelves in the fridge out i did want to go ahead and just go ahead and get my water ready to clean so i did dish water like dish soap with a splash of bleach and hot water and then I did go ahead and finish emptying out the shelves on the door. And then we are just going to go ahead and start wiping down the fridge. I have no idea what the smell was in here, but we did get it taken care of. So once I did go ahead and get the refrigerator all wiped and clean, I did go ahead and start restocking it with everything that we had. And I'm a weird person, like, first of all, I have to have all the labels facing the front. It bothers me if all the labels don't face the front in the fridge, as if I work at a grocery store or something. I don't know, but that does bother me. But that is what, we went, what I went ahead and did. And yeah, we're just putting everything back in the fridge and restocking it because I did actually go grocery shopping this day so I was like perfect time to clean out the fridge. So once the shelves and stuff are stocked, I did have to go back in and I did wash all the containers. I washed the drawers and I washed the containers that I have inside of the drawers with just plain dish water, like, like dish soap and water. But this is actually for the boys snack drawer. I keep it in the very bottom drawer of the refrigerator so that way anytime they want a snack, these are things that they could just go in there and grab and eat. So it's just some um, fruit and veggie pouches, apples, oranges, and string cheese. And then I do just keep that, like I said, in the very bottom um, drawer of the refrigerator because this is 
their snack drawer and these are all things that if I'm busy they can just grab if they feel hungry and they're also all healthy snacks. So once we finish with the fridge, we're obviously moving over to the freezer side. Now I didn't think the freezer was that bad, but it turns out the freezer was actually terrible and you'll see in a minute once I'm done pulling every single thing out of the freezer. I have no idea why we have so much freezer food, but hey, it's coming in handy right now with all the stuff that's going on with the snow and everything in Texas. Lubbock, Texas is actually pretty used to the snow, but I know like further down south in like DFW, Austin, Houston, those places are not built for snow or to withstand weather like this. So I know that they're just having it tough out there and I pray for them. But again, with this freezer, I pulled out the drawers and I wiped down all the shelves. And I'm pretty sure that's chicken juice, chicken fat, chicken, what, whatever juice be in chicken packages. That's what that nasty stuff is down at the bottom. Also mixed with a few bottles of wine that bursted because Brian likes to try to chill wine too fast. And yeah, we've had some wine bottles bust in the freezer. But yeah, just going ahead and cleaning that all up and then same routine we're going to get back into restocking the freezer and just making it more functional for me to easily find what i want to cook for dinner or serve for breakfast or lunch it just makes things so much easier for me to have like i said labels facing the front and everything in an order for instance all the beef goes in the top drawer and then like all the chicken and fish goes in the bottom drawer so yeah that is just what we have going on today. Alright you guys, so like I said, I do keep everything very organized. Like I said, this is the beef drawer. So this has real beef and then the vegan beef in it. And I did go ahead and wash these out as well. And so I just needed to empty that out. And then I'm going to restock it and reorganize it in a way that's easier for me to be able to access stuff. And then for the bottom drawer, we're going to do the same thing, which holds all the chicken and vegan chicken and fish and we are doing the same thing, taking everything out, washing it, and then putting it back away. Mm -hmm. 
Alright guys, so I forgot to show you guys an overview of how I all right, you guys, so this is the overview of the freezer and the fridge. I'm so happy with how it turned out, and I felt I felt so relieved after I did this and so motivated to cook, even though I still haven't been cooking. But yeah, I feel so I felt so much more motivated and like it wasn't dreadful having to open it up and that smell and everything like that. And so yeah, all labels facing the front, got the fruits and stuff. I just really love when my refrigerator looks like this. It's easy for the boys to find snacks as well as for me to find ingredients that I need to cook. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah!